The major identifying features of Soto syndrome fall into four categories. Uh, the first one is uh, changes in their growth pattern. The second one is an advancement in the bone age. Uh, the third one is a very typical facial appearance. And the fourth one is differences in their overall developmental patterns. Uh, by far the most identifying feature is the characteristic facial appearance. Uh, children with Soto syndrome are some of the cutest kids that you're ever going to see. Um, and if, like many genetic syndromes, those recognizable features, they look a lot like each other and yet they still maintain their familial characteristics. So it's a very kind of cool combination. But the things that we see in those kind of facial appearances are um, the head size tends to be generous. Uh, as compared to then the lower face, which is a little bit more small and triangular, coming down to this very cool, uh, strong Charlton Heston type chin. Uh, and then the overall uh, mid face tends to be a little bit underdeveloped, so that even things like the, the palpebral fissures, which are the length of the slits of our eyes, tend to slant downward a little bit as compared to being more horizontal. For a while, it was unclear what the underlying genetic cause was. And then a number of years ago, researchers in Japan identified a subtle change on the number five chromosome in a child with Soto syndrome. And through a series of investigations, identified there was a specific gene, uh, genes called NSD1, which accounted for Soto syndrome. For a person with classic Sotos, the chance for a child who also has that same gene is 50-50. That person has one normal NSD1 gene and one altered NSD1 gene. And every time that person makes eggs or sperm, one of those two genes will be passed to the child. So it really is a flip of the coin every time. If a sibling has no features of Soto syndrome, then their chance for a child with Sotos is no greater than that of anybody else in the world. So we would give them the chance that was the same as whatever people are quoting as the uh, incidence of SOTOs, somewhere between 1 in 10,000 and 1 in 20,000 births.